uh, we are again back with the new topic in CMOS design related to the modeling of the noise in MOSFET and the high frequency design of the BJT modeling. Now let us start with the first topic of modeling of the noise sources in the MOSFET. Now what basically the noise is? Noise is a type of a unwanted signal that actually attenuates or reduces the strength of a signal. Now in the similar ma matter, manner if you talk about working in the MOSFET conditions, the MOSFET is also affected by the noise. Now how the MOS, uh, MOSFET is affected by the noise? There are two types of the noise that are in the circuit that affects the MOSFET. These are the thermal noise and the flicker noise. Thermal noise is associated with the carrier in the channels. Now we have the carriers. The carriers are associated with the thermal noise. And the, similarly there is a second type of a noise called as a flicker noise. Flicker noise is associated with the trapping and releasing of electron in SI SiO2 interface. Now flickering means that it is associated with the electron that is trapped in between the silicon uh, dioxide and silicon interface. Now noise contribute to the drain current. Now basically the uh, what uh, drain current is the output ID is the output for the MOSFET. So there uh, the noise is attributed to the drain current. Thus it can be modeled as a current source between the drain and the source. Now as you can see we have uh, uh, designed a modeled a, uh, a, a MOSFET, MOSFET which is uh, depicting the noise in the form of the current source. Now this IN is representing uh, the current modeling of a noise as a current source between the source and the drain. The three terminals are depicted there gate source drain and as, as the noise is depicted in the form of the current source between source and the drain. Now the thermal noise current is white noise which is equated as SIW is equal to in the ohmic region 4 kT divided by R FET and the similar manner in the saturation region the equation of the thermal noise is given by 8 kT gm divided by 3 where T is the temperature in Kelvin K is the Boltzmann constant and gm is the transconductance. In the similar manner if we talk about the flicker noise is given by the equation SIF is equal to 2 kF K dash IDQ COX L square F. Hence the spectral density of the noise current source IN SN is equal to SIW plus SIF. This is the total uh, noise of spectral density for the MOSFET when you discuss about the modeling of a noise in the MOSFET that affects your drain current. Now, now the next topic what we are going to take today is the high frequency model for the BJT. Now in the previous class we have discussed about the high frequency model about the uh, MOSFET and here we are going to discuss the high frequency model of the BJT. Now as uh, already you have discussed that for the uh, MOSFET we had a small signal model then with a small signal model we have discussed about the large signal model for the high frequency. Now oh, this basically BJT high frequency model is made it uh, into consideration made into uh, made uh, taking into consideration consideration of the capacitances. Now how frequency model of the BJT model is made taking into consideration of the capacitances. The capacitances are of two type which are operated in the BJT. BJT is operated with at least one junction forward bias. BJT usually when we operate the BJT when the uh, voltage is applied to it then at least one junction is forward bias in the BJT. Thus we model thus we model a junction a parasitic junction capacitance under forward bias. Now from this it is comes that when you are going to make a region in a forward bias there will be a parasitic junction capacitance developed under the forward bias. The parasitic capacitance junction is represented by Cj. The junction capacitance is represented by the equation 2n Cj not a 2n Vf divided by 5v plus uh, 1 minus n. This is the equation representing the junction capacitance. Junction capacitance equation in the forward bias where Vf is represented by the forward bias of the junction. So this one of the factors the, of the capacitance is the junction capacitance that is introducing 
uh, that is introduced in the high frequency model of the BJT. Now, the second factor comes by uh, designing of the analysis. Now, analysis of the parasitic junction capacitance in the different types of the transistor if you take a vertical section, if you take a lateral section. Now, here in the uh, di diagram given below, we have shown two types of the section. One is the vertical NPN section, one is the lateral PNP section. We are depicting the collector emitter base region in the vertical NPN. In the similar manner, we are depicting the base, collector and emitter region for the lateral PNP region. Now, you can see that we are having the, the capacitances that are developed between the collector emitter base in the form P base CBC1. There is a capacitance developed between the uh, base and the collector in the uh, vertical NPN. Then we are uh, there is a capacitance developed between the base and the source of the body. Then there is a cap capacitance developed between the uh, uh, source and the substrate of the body. Then in a similar lateral PNP section, we are finding three different capacitance which is marked by a capacitor shape CBC1, CBS1 and CBS1. The ABAC di diagram depicts the different type of the capacitance developed in the transistor that affect the transistor at high frequency. They are CBE, CBC, CS1, base emitter capacitance, base collector capacitance and the source capacitance in the vertical NPN section in the first half of the figure. In the similarly, in the second half of the figure, you can see that CBC1, CBS1, CBE1 in the lateral PNP junction, base collector capacitance, base substrate capacitance, base emitter capacitance. These together are called as the junction capacitance that affect the model of the BJT in the high frequency circuit. Now, the second type of the capacitance is due to the majority charge carrier accumulation in the base region under forward bias. Now, what we are saying? It, the second type of the capacitance is due to the majority charge. Now, majority charge movement will be there and due to the majority charge movement, there will be a carrier accumulation in the base region under forward bias near emitter base junction. So that is also a parasitic capacitance that is developed between the base and emitter region. The capacitance is modeled by the equation CAC is equal to TF ICQ divided by KT, which will be represented as because the uh, GM transconductance is the rate of the change of the current. So we are uh, configuring it as TF uh, into GM that is the transconductance. Now TF is the forward base transit time, ICQ is the collector current that also it is equivalent to the leakage current in that. CAAC is the parasitic capacitance of the total base emitter, emitter capacitance. Thus we have got two type of the capacitance that affects the uh, high frequencies of the BJT. First one was the junction capacitance that was developed and the other one what we have got is the parasitic capacitances that is developed in the BJT. Now, we will uh, combine both these capacitance with the small signal model of the BJT and we will get the high frequency model of the BJT. Now, let us look in the next figure. The equivalent high frequency BJT model is, as you can see that we are having the base, emitter and collector. Three regions are shown there. After uh, shown, uh, showing, we have uh, depicted the different type of the regions which were the current source and the voltage source we have shown there and with that a small signal model of the transistor we have reduced the different capacitances that were developed uh, in the uh, in the cross section of the NPN transistor this figure depicts the high frequency small signal model of the BJT actually this is uh, calculated using the Miller theorem equation what was the uh, part of your previous semester if we will apply the Miller uh, theorem equation we will get the different equation related to that but the, uh, uh, for uh, with respect to our uh, uh, circuit diagram we are getting the high frequency small signal model of the BJT by using the different types of the capacitic model. Thank you and we will meet with the last topics of our uh, chapter by tomorrow. Thank you and have a nice day.